Hey friends, you're at Disneyland and it's busy and you want to get around? Well, I want to show you my favorite place to go. I refer to it as the outer hub of Disneyland. It's a series of paths that works around the outer edge of the hub, allowing you to get from one spot to the other quite fast on busy nights and enjoy some quiet time to yourself on slow ones. Let's explore the outer hub of Disneyland. You want to have a fun night at Disneyland, but the bad news is the park's packed. There's people everywhere, and you're trying to get someplace in a hurry. Or keep the temper down of someone in your party that's maybe a little too strung out on Disney magic. This is the way to go, the way to navigate yourself to all the good spots. The first path I have for you is a pretty obvious one, but if for some reason you need to get to the back of Tomorrowland, or want to start over on the edge of Fantasyland, the one way that you do not want to go is this way. Going through Tomorrowland is a fool's mission. It's congested, it's clogged, it has people and strollers in your way every way you turn. Going through here is only going to add frustration. I'm here at close, so it's pretty loose right now. But during the day, this is a fool's errand. So you don't want to take that path. What you want to do is go one trail over, take what's part of the parade route, and take this trail that's in between Sleeping Beauty's Castle and Pixie Hollow. It's wide, it's meant for walking, there's no attractions on either side, allowing you to get to the back of the park as fast as possible. I mean, after all, it is a parade route, so it's designed with a lot of people and a lot of vehicles in mind. And if you need to get over to Tomorrowland, you can quickly make a decision to veer to your right. But if you want to go to Fantasyland, you can quickly veer to your left. I know this land is far from like a best kept secret, but it's a logistical way to get to where you need to go in the back corners of the park really, really fast. But now we need to go on what I refer to as the outer hub, a trailway system to get you where you want to go and avoid all of those people. But first, we'll backtrack. Working our way back, we can see Pixie Hollow, which is a nice quiet spot to go in and get a little bit of downtime. It has an awesome late night light show that most folks aren't aware of. Now we find ourselves at the start of one of our trails in the outer hub. This is where I say the outer hub begins. If you're walking on the inside, there's people waiting for fireworks, waiting for nighttime shows. Going down this path, is a great way to get to where you need to go and quick. One caveat, if it's firework time, the other side's closed. But as you can see, we're not walking around people. We have epic views. Right now there are people still walking on the interior hub, but not out here on the exterior. I have it all to myself. This area is one of my favorite areas of the park because right now it's dead quiet and there's still people all around us. But let's keep moving through, through the tunnel into fantasy land. As you can see, we're walking into a quiet fantasy land. Sure, Snow White is all closed up, but she'll be back. She'll be back to scaring you, but in a more friendly way. So if you wanted to get to Fantasyland and you decided to go through the castle, you know what you have to do. Avoid the crowds, avoid kids, and avoid people doing photos. That's the most photographic spot in the park and probably on all of Instagram. Always crowded with people. So if we need to get over to the west side of the park, Frontierland, Adventureland, Galaxy's Edge, we want to come over to this tunnel. This tunnel on the other side is going to bring us on the outer hub, away from traffic, away from people, and the peace and quiet that we all deserve on a long day or a short trip to Disneyland. Once again, there's still people on the inner hub, but I have this one all to myself. Not only is the privacy nice, but the epic views. 
dare I say, proposal spot. I, I really want somebody to propose to me at Disneyland. So then we spin around here, which brings us into the Fantasy Fair. Now we have a couple of decisions to make when we get to Fantasy Fair if we're looking to get further in the park and save time. We can go straight through where there's restrooms and a shortcut into the edge of Frontierland, or we can keep cruising on what I refer to as the outer hub to keep hopping from land to land. First things first, we'll go through the hallway, show you where the restrooms are at, and the fast way to get to the edge of Frontierland. So let's say that you wanted to go to Fantasmic, or that you're trying to get to the galaxy's edge. Coming through here, normally a lot less people, two good restrooms that we just passed, and once we pop out of this trail, Frontierland is the thing behind us and in our past. This is where it brings us out, drops us out, right on the very edge of Frontierland. So if we wanted to get over to Fantasmic, we would be right where we need to be, or Big Thunder Mountain, or even a step closer to the galaxy's edge. This is what it looks like from the other perspective. Let's work our way back. It's a beautiful private corridor design and a Spanish sensibility and really designed to get you from one spot way faster than any other option. With the ladies room and a men's room, a clear path to get from one spot to the other while avoiding tons of people. And look, we even found our friend Artie. Hey, Artie. All right, let's go back to our other option. If you're following along with me, we took a detour this way through the heart of the Fantasy Fair that gave us to restrooms and the end of Frontierland. But if we keep cruising on the outside here of the Fantasy Fair, there's a way to get to the beginning of Frontierland and the beginning of Adventureland. Once again, there's nobody on my path, but still people out in the main hub. Now this little corridor on the edge of Frontierland, it's dark, but wide, easy to get through. And it brings us over to the pin trading company at the top of Frontierland, immediately giving us the option to go into Frontierland if we veer to the right, or if we veer to the left, keep hopping from land to land. As we come through the back, you can see there's the full version of Frontierland. But we've got speed in mind, so we're gonna rip over and go into Adventureland. And just like that, we've worked our way all the way around every major land in Disneyland, accessible by the hub. And now we're at the very beginning of Adventureland. With access to Tomorrowland, Fantasyland, Frontierland, and Adventureland, it can get you anywhere that you need to go and in a hurry. Tonight we took the path an hour before park close, and you can see there are people around. But there was little to no people on the path that we took, the outer hub. So the next time you're trying to get from one spot to the other, meet friends, rip that fast pass or get to a bathroom fast. Just take the outer hub. And hardcore Disneyland folks know this is the way to go. But if you're a vacationer, an out of towner, this trailway can literally save your life. And it's easy to miss. Walking at night, you wouldn't know that this entry point is right here quickly avoiding people and taking you back to the heart of the park. This is for sure one of my favorite places to go, one of my favorite places to walk through. It's how I navigate the park the most. And as you can see, 
I'm just hanging out by myself while people are out there walking, navigating strollers, photos, and all the things that clog the paths of sweet, sweet Disneyland. And I just saw a couple get engaged. <laughs> oh, Disney magic, so sweet. Now for safe measure, I'm just gonna go back the way that I came. People, people, private. Hey friends, I hope you've enjoyed my guide to the quiet pass of Disneyland. The outer hub, as I call it. It's a great way to go where you want to go faster, avoid the crowds, and have a little quiet Disneyland to yourself. Hopefully someday soon, I'll see you on the quiet pass of Disneyland. Going through tomorrow's land, and it has an awesome late night late. We can go... So let's say that you wanted to go to Fantasic, Fantasmic. So if you're following along with me, we took a D 